Hi guys, back on the bench here. I uh, got a bit of a hard time the other day from somebody. They said this little tile heater couldn't heat shit. Well, it's not really intended to do that. In fact, it's only intended to heat small areas, even though this is actually getting quite hot um, and it does emit quite a lot of heat. It really is intended for things like vans and RVs. I mean, when I'm traveling, I use one of these tube heaters. Now, a tube heater takes 120 watts, and this is only 80 watts, so it's quite a substantial savings if you're running off um, battery power. However, I did take the comment to heart, and I started to, to think about something a little bit more than a 12 volt heater, um, what would happen if we went off mains and uh, used the same type of halogen bulb? So what I built didn't take too long. This was a few hours build, so it's not a substantial job for anybody who wants to take it on. Uh, this is a 600 watt heater. Now, it's really intended to replace this type of space heater or the traditional ones that sit on the floor and they're about 2000 watts. You see them there between 1500 and 2000 watts because it takes a lot of energy to emit heat. However, this 600 watt heater is a very simple build. Of course, you don't have to buy it, um, but you will have to build it and um, it will save you about 50% on your energy bills. And you can build a couple of these, of course, and put them at either end of the room. But as you can see, it looks quite pleasant on the wall. And uh, it really is very simple. And we'll go through the build right now and show you some of the temperatures that we're getting out of it and how it's intended to work. Okay, so, meter here. Now, the first thing I wanted to show you was the, the surface of this is a tile. So this is a regular ceramic tile that you can buy off the shelf. Now, you can use any type of ceramic tile, but anything uh, terracotta would probably be better because, of course, it's going to store the heat better. But, as you can see, it looks fairly pleasant on the wall. Now, the other thing is that if I take one of these off, you can see this is emitting an awful lot of radiant heat. Uh, this is very, very hot. I mean, I can show you the temperature on this side is, we're at 100 and 155 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see there, 155 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's on the surface of there. This maxes it out. It goes up to about 300. These halogen bulbs get very hot. And as I said, they're 50 watt bulbs. We've got 12 bulbs in all. And what I did was, I'll switch it off to show you a little bit of how it's built. Um, what I did was, I used the traditional board, the same board as I was using before. And I took these uh, standard halogen fittings up to 50 watt. I use a, of course, uh, it's going to be 220 or 110 if you're in the US. Um, fittings on the back of this, connected them all together, and I have one lead running off to my mains. So that's really it. That's the build. These little brackets are just a little bit of aluminium that I cut that uh, made some L brackets and put some little bends on the top, grippers to grip around the tiles. And three across the bottom, two on the top to hold the tiles in place, and that's it. Very easy build, very inexpensive. If you need some information, I'm just before I finish actually, um, I want to show you this little box. This box is intended to go on the top of the heater. And what that does is it has a fan on one end of it. And this is a 12 volt fan, so it's very inexpensive to run. Um, I will line the inside of this with some aluminium, some thin aluminium on the bottom and the top. And of course, when the heat that rises, and there is a lot of heat that comes out of the top of this, uh, when this thing is on, it actually emits a substantial amount of heat out of the top. So this box is really to capitalize on that and to use some forced air to get it into the room quicker. 
So that's it guys, simple build, anyone can build one of these, uh, just pop that back in again, and there we have a, and that is very hot to touch, there is a 600 watt heater that anybody can build, if you need some information on the build and a little bit more um, of how to actually put it all together, please leave comments below and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Talk to you soon.